only on four. An incident that grabbed worldwide attention. Corona 911 was the address of your emergency. We heard gunshots. A family of three shot inside a busy Costco store in Corona. An off duty LAPD officer, the one who pulled the trigger. Are you injured? No, I guess not. I thought I got shot in the back of my head. The LAPD said the shooting was out of policy and fired the officer. The officer was never charged with a crime. You know what? I'm not going to talk any further with my lawyer. Now, as we first reported last night at 11, the I-Team has obtained exclusive video, audio, and written reports that reveal in the moments before and after the shooting, the officer, officer gave unclear information about how he thought he'd been hurt. Our investigative reporter, Eric Leonard, started digging into the story more than a year ago and now has information behind that LAPD decision. This is former LAPD officer Salvador Sanchez, moments after he wounded Russell and Paola French and killed their intellectually disabled adult son, Kenneth, in the Corona Costco's refrigerated section. I thought I got shot. I still feel pain in the side of my head. On Corona police body camera video, Sanchez tells several officers he thought he'd been shot in the head, that he saw a flash, felt a blast, and was knocked to the ground. And I see a blast, and I feel my head just getting knocked down or not. For me to fall. We now know from witness statements and police reports that the man Sanchez killed did not have a gun, and Sanchez himself was not shot. Instead, witnesses said Sanchez had been punched or smacked in the head by Kenneth French while the two were standing near a food sample table. Minutes after the shooting, in an ambulance, Sanchez told a paramedic he thought he'd slipped. He just told me I slipped, fell, hit my head. Police photographed Sanchez in the hospital and focused on the area where Sanchez said he'd been hurt. In an internal investigation conducted by the LAPD, detectives wrote Officer Sanchez had not been shot nor sustained any verifiable injury. Sanchez's lawyer says the LAPD ignored that a doctor found evidence of a brain injury and that the strike to the head and the fall to the floor had disoriented Sanchez. It Im impacted him severely and he believed he'd been shot and the impact on his brain caused him to believe that Mr. French had a gun. One eyewitness told police she thought Sanchez had suffered a medical emergency. I thought he had a heart attack. His fall was pretty hard. I can, I can, I can hear it. Okay. Like from his like scalp that he fell on the ground, the, the hard like floor. Yeah, the concrete. You yeah, think concrete. he hit his head on the floor? Yeah. Other witnesses said they thought Sanchez wasn't knocked down at all. The guy just jumped on the floor, got his gun out, and started shooting. State law allows police to shoot if they reasonably fear their lives are in danger. The LAPD's investigation concluded that any other officer with similar training and experience would not reasonably believe that Kenneth French's actions presented an imminent threat of death or serious bodily injury. The LA Police Commission ruled the shooting violated department policies, lethal use of force, out of policy, and Sanchez was fired by the LAPD last July. His attorney says it was Sanchez Sanchez's perception that he thought he'd been attacked, not an actual gunshot wound, that made his actions justifiable. And the lawyer says the LAPD got it wrong. For anybody in the LAPD to say that the average LAPD officer wouldn't have reacted that way is simply being dishonest because you don't know how somebody's going to react with a head injury. If you have a head injury, you have a head injury and, and it impacts you negatively. In 2019, Riverside County DA Mike Hestrin said he took the case to a grand jury, which later returned a no bill, meaning it voted not to charge Sanchez with a crime. I stand by the decision. I stand by my decision to send it to the grand jury, and I think the grand jury um, did everything that they were supposed to do. After looking through the investigation files from two police departments, it still appears it's a mystery as to why Kenneth French struck Sanchez. The French family has sued Sanchez and the LAPD, saying the department should be held responsible because it trained Sanchez and allowed him to be armed. That lawsuit is moving through federal court, and Sanchez himself could sit for a deposition in the coming weeks. Sanchez could also take his own legal action to challenge the LAPD's decision to fire him. I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you. <clears throat>